All right. Torture talk. All right, so I want to talk about something that I think is very important right now and what's going on in our society. And it's called the killing of the free thinkers. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Tell your family about me. So, the killing of the free thinkers is now in a full effect, I should say. So, think about it this way. Remember, we has to go. We have we used to go to the libraries to seek out information. You know, and whatever was written in those books was the gospel was true for the most part, you know, and you had to do your cross references and your cross researching. But for the most part, that's what harbored the most uh, information, truth or false, but the truth. You had to do your due, due, due diligence to find out the truth, you know, and you get dates accurate and stuff like that. So the killing of the free thinkers now is now most people don't go to libraries anymore. And if they do, it's not to seek out uh, modern day information. It's, it's, it's to seek out past stuff. But most people use their phones to go and seek out information. Now, why I say the killing comes in that is all these media tech companies now have an agenda. And what they're doing is, is they're erasing some of the history or some of the current things going on. So you won't know about it in the future. So let's just say, for example, someone says something and they prove something. And one of these media companies who necessarily don't agree with the agenda, they will just delete it and won't even post it or they'll take it down completely. And that's why I say the killing comes in that, because now it's even worse now, because now most people don't go to the libraries and most people don't seek out books for information. Now you are at the disposal of people who actually control the narrative and what they'll do is they'll remove something that they just don't like even if it's a fact they'll move it remove it they'll take it out so what happens now is most people who go to seek out this information this modern information they'll get misled or they'll get told something that's a complete fabrication or a lie and they don't even know it. They'll just believe it because it because the truth was removed. And I think people need to start paying attention because this doesn't just go against uh, the two different parties that people represent or two different sides people represent or whatever. This goes against everything. You can be any part of any party. And if they don't feel as though that what you're bringing to the table supports their narrative, they'll just remove it. That's very scary. So now, if if me and my friend create something and we put it on, let's say, YouTube, or we put it on Facebook, or we put it on Twitter, or we put it on... If the Twitter, Facebook, or whatever heads, they'll, if they don't like what you're saying, whether it's about, uh, um, I don't know, let's say we discovered alien DNA, Right? Let's just say we discovered it. We came up with a system and we discovered it. If it doesn't fit their narrative, they're going to remove it. Period. So now my suggestion to everyone is create your own domain, your own website. Because if you do, then you can have a private server and it can't be removed. That's just that. Of course, you have to build your fan base up. But most people, these media tech giants, they have a large conglomerate already. So if they have all these people already, most people are going to flock towards that because they know what they're doing. They've been doing this. So you creating a website, it's just a start. But you have to build your fan base up. 
They started somewhere. You can start somewhere, too. You can build your own. And that's why I'm working on my own now, because I don't want to be a person who discovers something or say something that's factual and it gets removed because it doesn't support their narrative. They will totally shut you out. And that's what they're doing now. They did it back then with books when they printed stuff that wasn't true. And again, you know what they say, you hide something in a book if you don't want nobody to know something because most people don't read anyway. But now most people read because it's right in the palm of their hands. I would say more people read, but they don't read thoroughly. They read headlines. So the media, the top media companies and the social media companies, they all work together now. Most of them work together. You have your you have your private organizations, but they still are not bigger than Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, Instagram. Those are the top. They, you might as well say those are the top news media outlets right now because they control what the news put on there. And most people watch the news on Facebook and don't watch the news on TV. It's easier to watch sound bites and clips than watching and going home and watching TVs because it's in the palm of your hands. And you notice. So it used to be Facebook censored, you know, didn't censor things. I remember seeing things on Facebook where they didn't censor people killing people, violence. Now to a point where they don't censor the violence. They don't censor killings. They don't censor. They sense they may censor sex. But I think they only censor sex when it has something to do with heterosexual sex. They don't censor homosexuality at all because I see that all the time on Facebook. And Twitter. Twitter don't censor anything. But when it comes to something that doesn't support their narrative, because I'm going to put it to you like this. Most of these companies now are comfortable with keeping people in chaos. They're very comfortable with keeping people in chaos. So if they continue with this chaos, of course, what's going to happen? Most people are going to get used to that and they don't want to seek out information. So so behind the scenes, while y'all seeking out all this, this, this content, there's nothing but violence, sex, money, drugs, whatever, whatever. They're doing things behind the scenes. That's controlling your life and taking things away from you that you don't even know. They're writing legislations and bills that you don't even know. Because you're not paying attention. So I say, this is where the killing of the free thinking coming at. And if you want to be a free thinker, you should start your own. Because I, I'm, a, I start, I'm starting to see most people now are starting their own. And I, I'm, I'm hoping that companies like Spotify separate themselves from companies like Facebook with their new platform coming out where they let you upload videos. And of course, I think that certain things should be censored when it comes down to if it's harming people, as in physically harming people. Like if you physically see in a fight, it's different from a doctor saying something about something now of course people might say well that's 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 the same in a way because what if the doctor's telling a lie but you can actually fact check the doctor and say hey listen this doctor is not telling the truth because of this or there's some there's some truth to this but physical violence is different because now you're seeing someone getting their head beat in that's different totally different that, there's no fact checking there. What you going to say? Oh, well, why did he beat his head in? Most people not going to go and look why he got his head beat in or why he got shot. They're just going to look at, damn, he got his head beat in. It's a little different when it comes to it. So, killing the free thinking. Start your own, you know? Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. 
You know what it is. Tell your family about me.